the most common patient for ACL ruptures are between 15 and 35, so they're youngsters who want to play sports and be active. OK, I'm a dancer. In one of my lessons, doing a dance move, jumped up, when I landed, my knee twisted and I fell on the floor. <laughs> it was wet on the foot. I slipped, I fell over and I twisted my right knee. The classic history of I was running, I changed direction, my knee gave way, it suddenly swelled, I heard a pop um, and I couldn't get up. I very stupidly climbed on a table um, to remove the canopy from my gazebo in the back garden and uh, the table just wobbled a bit and it unbalanced me and I fell. That person's ruptured their ACL, you don't even need to examine them. And, and every time that knee gives way, that will be associated with severe pain. Serious pain, uh, absolutely serious. I mean, it was swelling up. I could hardly walk. Straight after the accident, I couldn't walk for at least 30 minutes. It felt like my leg went one way and my knee went the other way. So it was a very painful injury. <laughs> it was very painful when I hurt it, when I ruptured it. Um, and then it settled down, but it just felt very unstable and wobbly. With a loose knee, the concern is if one continues to be active and play twisting, turning sports or even run around with the kids or whatever, occasionally your knee's going to give way because it's got that laxity within it. As I kept dancing, um, my knee kept going out of joint and twisting. So every time your knee gives way, you're damaging the joint surface, you're damaging the meniscus and causing further damage. Um, and we see it not infrequently. Um, had a case a few weeks ago, 17-year-old lad, ruptured his ACL, tore his meniscus, too busy to get it sorted. He's left it for three or four years, he's wrecked his knee. He's got no joy surface cartilage left at all, none, all gone. Meniscus gone, he's got the knee of, a, of an 80-year-old. And that's because he didn't get his ACL sorted out. And that's an extreme example, but that's what we see. So if you have instability and you've ruptured your ACL and you don't get it sorted out, you will have further issues with your knee that can come sooner than, than you might imagine. Up until 20 years ago, people lived with slightly loose knees and they modified their lifestyles. They couldn't play twisting and turning sports. If they did, their knees gave way and perhaps caused them problem. If you want to do sport which allows you or requires you to twist and turn, you can't do that without an ACL in the vast majority of cases. Some people can, but it's rare. So what the classic is I can run in a straight line dot, no, no problems, but when I try and change direction, my knee gives way, and that's because the ACL's not working. I'm sure many patients are aware of very famous people who've injured their anterior cruciate ligament. Michael Owen, in, in England footballer, is well known that he injured his anterior cruciate ligament. Classic injury, he was off the ball, just running and turning, and it's a very classic one. Lawrence Delalio, England rugby captain, exactly the same thing. Both of them have had uh, anterior cruciate reconstructions. Both of them went back to represent their country. It is going to be painful, but if you keep doing your exercises, you will find the benefits, and in the long run, I feel a lot better. <laughs> I've got full movement. Again, it's just building up my muscles so I can get fully fit to go back dancing again. <laughs>